Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're gonna to work on this Cub Cadet 122. We've got a PTO problem. The friction plate in there has gone to crap. So we gotta get that PTO off. So thanks for tuning in. Maybe just hit that subscribe button for me, throw me a like. Yeah, let's get to it. All right, first step to get to that PTO is to take off this front clip. And there are just four 9 16th bolts that need to pop out. To loosen that up and then part of the front clip on these narrow frames is that voltage regulator so we got to pull that off we just need to get this guy out and then what i noticed is these bolts that hold the blower on are kind of in the way of the front clip so take those off with a three quarter inch and then we can get that front clip off and here i am just Removing the manual PTO, engage and disengage deal. Pull the clip off, whoop, caught on my belt. And move that belt out of the way, get that front clip removed, and then we've got a lot easier working space to get to that front PTO. So I don't know if you can see this, but that's fried. And our friction plate is gone. So that's no good. It runs the blower. Oh yeah, that's all sorts of messed up. Wonderful. that's off so now so now when you spin this right in these holes there's two set screws in each one and those are notorious for being a bugger to get out so we're gonna throw in some blaster all right it's one eighth wow did not expect that I broke up loose on the first shot. So we got two of those in each hole. Wow. This is unheard of. This can't be real life. Usually these things are a colossal pain in the butt to get out. You see the, the long one goes in first followed by the short one. So as you're pulling them out, you should get a short one out and then a long one. Okay, we got our six out, so now we're gonna try to pop that off. And I'm telling you, if you're watching this video, these never come out this easy. This is weird. Yeah, see, that's very weird. <laughs> I've never had one of those come out that way. All right, so you can see how messed up that is. This should be flush. That got really loose. 
These two are tight. But our friction disc, well, let's go take a look at our junk motor and I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about. So we just pulled this one out of a Cub Cadet 129. And you can see how there's a friction disc back here in each one of these bubbles, which is completely destroyed on the one we just pulled off. Okay, I think we caught, found the problem that caused everything. These should lock together, uh, but they're not anymore. So I would suspect that is the problem. It should go in and kind of lock here, and then you tighten it down to the shaft, but it's not locking. So... I think that's probably our issue. Now we've got the PTO removed and that locking bearing taken off. Now we can take inventory of what parts we need to order. So I'll get those parts ordered and I'll put together a part two when I get those parts in and we'll slap this all back together. Thanks for tuning in today. If you get a chance, maybe hit that like, subscribe, heck, even hit the bell for notifications. We'll see you next video.